so welcome students today's topic is number theory and cryptography so we all know that cryptography is one of the recent that advanced the field of research in mathematics and sciences so the basic concept was uh, behind the cryptography is uh, the number systems so number system there are a lot of theories in the number systems and is in this paper we will find the number theories of uh, number systems and which will help the cryptographers to use for the cryptography or cryptocurrencies so it was taken by myself daniel assistant professor cpa college so outline of these readings so divisibility prime composite numbers fundamental theorem of arithmetic so gcd greatest integer common divisors modulo operators and congruence relationships and some other extensions will be there so first one is divisibility so given any integers a and b so with a not equal to b a divides b denoted by a divided by b such that there exists an integer k so b equal to a into k if we take a equal to 2 and b equal to 6 means so so a is divisible by b and b can be expressed as so 2 into 3 so we will get b as 6 so a is called the divisor of b and b is a multiple of a So if once if the definition is satisfied, there will be the proportion slice. If a not equal to zero, then a divides zero and a divides a. Also, one divides b for every p. So second point. So if a divides b and a b divides c, then a divides c. So if a divides b and a divides c, then a divides s b plus t c, where s and t are some int, some other integers. So prime and composite numbers. So for any integer n greater than one is called a prime number if its positive divisors are one and n itself. So the numbers which are divisible by one and itself is called as prime numbers. So the then composite numbers. So any integers of n greater than one that is which are not prime are called the composite numbers. For example, so prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, up to etc. So composite numbers may be. Four, six, twenty-five, nine hundred. Some, so all the numbers which are not primes are said to be the composite numbers. So then, so decomposition of product of primes. So fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So it tells us that so all the other numbers except the prime. So all the other numbers except the primes, that is composite numbers, can be expressed as a product of prime numbers. That is the concept of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So a statement tells us that so any integer number n greater than one can be written as a product of primes of n greater than one, and the product is unique if the number of numbers are written in a increasing order. So the theorem statement tells us that so all the composite numbers can be expressed as a product of primes. So in which in a increasing order, so get the unique pattern for the Consecutive for the composite number for the product of the consecutive numbers. For example, so the general term is given by n equal to so n may be any composite number. Say n is equal to p1 means prime number one. So p1 e power one, p2 e power two, so up to p k e power k. So e represents the exponentials and p represents the primes. So p1, p2, p k represents so different primes. So and the powers represents. The exponentials. So, for example, if we take 84, so 84 is divisible by 2, so that is a composite number. So, so 84 can be represented as 2 square into 3 into 7. 2, 3, 7, all the, all the numbers are prime numbers. So that was the theorem says. So all the composite numbers can be expressed as a product of prime numbers. So in this case, so 2 only have the exponential 2. So 2 power 2 means 4. So 4 into 3 into 7 implies 84. So all the numbers can be uniquely determined using this fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So then the concept of GCD, greatest common divisor. So given integer a greater than 0, b greater than 0, we define GCD of a comma b equal to c. Then the GCD is the greatest number that divides both a and b so example so if gcd of 256 comma 100 equal to 4 so which is so 4 is the least number which divides both of them. 
so then then definition so relative prime so two integers a greater than 0 b greater than 0 are said to be a relative prime if gcd is 1 so gcd if the gcd of both the numbers is 1 then we can say that the both a and b are relatively prime so example 25 and 128 are relatively if you find the gcd means then there will not be any gcd because uh, 25 is a multiple of 5 and 128 is a multiple of uh, 2 or 3 something so we cannot find the match so the so least uh, least gcd of uh, this number is no, uh, maybe 1 so that uh, is a relative prime so then the Euclid's algorithm which states that you find, find GCD of 143 and 110. So 143 can be expressed as 1 into 10 into 110 plus 20, 33. So 110 can be further divided into 3 into 33 plus 11. So 33 can be further divided into 3 into 11 plus 3. 0 so in which the gcd of 143 and 110 is 11 because the final output is 3 into 11 plus 0 so if we find the gcd of 110 means it will comes like 11 plus 0 so gcd is 11 so then the concept of mod law operators so a mod n equal to r such that so a equal to q into n plus r so example 7 mod 3 equal to 1 similarly minus 7 mod 3 equal to 2 so if you find the example means so congruence relations so let a b n are the integers such that n greater than 0 we say that a congruent to b mod n if a minus b is a multiple of n so that is the property still says that if a congruent to b mod n means if and only if n should divides a minus b or n should divides b minus a or a equal to b plus k into n so for some integer k or b equal to a plus k into n where k is some integer these are all the conditions for the checking whether the number is congruence relation holds or not so for example 32 equal 32 congruent 7 mod 5 so which is nothing but so my uh, if you subtract uh, uh, if you subtract uh, means minus 12 congruent uh, 37 mod 7 so if you check a with any one of this condition means it the, the, these examples will hold this is the uh, condition to check whether the congruence relation hold or not so that is the properties so that is if n should divide a minus b or n should divide b minus a or a equal to b plus k into n for some integer k or b equal to a plus k into n for some integer k so these are all the conditions thank you students